two, three, funk it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley B, and today we're going to be making this glamorous bucket hat. Just a disclaimer, I am a beginner when it comes to crocheting, but without further ado, let's get straight into this video. For this bucket hat, you'll need any color yarn you'd like to use. I'm using Craft Smart's 100% acrylic medium yarn in the color Lotus Bloom. You'll also need a 5mm hook as well as a pair of scissors. Alright, so before I get into the granny square business, you're going to have to make a slip knot. So the way I make a slip knot, I take the yarn, wrap it around my pointer finger, and then I take it and I cross it over that bottom piece, and take that bottom piece and wrap it over and hold them together like so. And then I take the back loop and put it over the first loop and tie it tight, and put my hook into it, and you can either tighten it or loosen it depending on which side you pull. So I'm going to show you this one more time. I'm going to take the yarn, loop it over my pointer finger, cross it, take the other part and loop it over, and then take the bottom loop and put it over the top loop, like so. Alright, so now it's time to actually know how to hold our yarn. So I usually wrap it around my pinky finger and then wrap it around my pointer finger and hold the yarn in between my middle finger and my thumb, like so. So I'll show you again. Wrap it around my pinky, wrap it around my pointer finger, hold it with my thumb and middle finger, and that's it. So now to start off the granny square, you're going to want to go ahead and make a chain of four. So that's two right there, three, and four. So I can just show you right now. It's one, two, three, four. All right, so now you can go ahead and insert your hook into that first chain, and we're just going to pull through both of those loops. And this is the formation of our granny square. You can kind of see where it's like tugging right there and then the hole in the center where we'll actually be weaving our granny square. All right, to start one of our corners, we're gonna go ahead and chain three and we're gonna go ahead and yarn over and start our hook into the center. Yarn over, pull through. It's gonna be kind of hard, a little difficult. And then you're gonna yarn over, pull through two and yarn over both of the other two. You're going to do this two, uh, one more time. Yarn over, then turn your hook in the center, yarn over, pull through, then you're going to yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through the last two. So you can start seeing what the formation of our groiny square is. going to start getting bigger as we, you know, go along. So now we're going to go ahead and chain three for the next corner. And what we did before, we're going to yarn over and turn our hook into the center, yarn over, pull through. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. And you're going to want to do this three times for this corner. The second time, yarn over, go in the center, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two. As again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. All right, and that's how we form our corners for our granny square. So now you're going to want to do this, and I'll meet you back at the end of the granny square. So now that we've made it to our last corner of our granny square, I'm going to go ahead and show you what our next steps are. So what you're going to do is chain three, like we've done for our corners already. And as you can see, on this chain, there should be uh, three chains you should be able to see visibly. So that one, two, and then three. So we're going to insert our hook into that third chain at the top up there. And you're going to yarn over, pull through those two, and then pull through that last hoop as well performing a slip knot all right now we're starting uh, round two of our granny square so we're going to go ahead and chain three and now we're going to go ahead and do our three double crochets that we do for each corner and with these three double crochets you're going to separate them by a chain of three so it's going to be three double crochets a chain of three and then three more double crochets for that one corner but i'll go ahead and show you how i do that so this is the second 
double crochet and then our third one and now I'm gonna go ahead and chain three for this corner one two and three and do three more double crochets into that same corner that we did those previous three double crochets into all right so now we're going to move on to this corner so we're going to go ahead and chain one and now we're going to do the same process that we did before in the previous corner so we're going to do a total of three double crochets and then we're going to do three chains to separate that and then we're going to do three more double crochets and i'll meet you back at the end part of this second round All right, now that we've reached our last corner, I'm gonna go ahead and chain three. And to finish off this corner, we're gonna go ahead and perform two double crochets in that same corner we've already weaved three double crochets into. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. And do one more double crochet, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two, and we're gonna perform another slip knot like we did before and go into that third chain at the top. So you can just go ahead and count it, insert your hook, and you're gonna yarn over and pull through the chain along with what chain you have on your hook already. All right, so now we're gonna start round three and we're gonna go ahead and chain three as usual. And as you can tell, you can see that that chain of three is going into that circle, is attached to that hole. So we're gonna go ahead and do our three double crochets into that hole right there. So it's yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're gonna do two more of these, and then we're gonna move on to the side as well. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and chain one and we're gonna yarn over and enter that corner and we're gonna go ahead and do three double crochets separated by the chain three and then three more double crochets and then I'll show you how we do the side parts. All right, so now that we've completed it, that's what it looks like so far. So now we're gonna go ahead and start the side parts. So we're gonna chain one and we're gonna go ahead and just do only three double crochets in the side parts of the granny square. And that's pretty much about it. So for the sides, you're just going to chain one from the corner, do your three double crochets. And then after you're done with the side part, you're going to chain one and then do your three double crochets, chain three and three more double crochets per corner. And I'll meet you back at the end of this round. All right. So now that we made it to the end, we're going to go ahead and chain three. So we're going to one, two and three. And now we're just going to go ahead and do two double crochets, so yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two, and then we're going to do our last double crochet. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two, and then we're just going to go ahead and join the rest for our granny square. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and finish this round by inserting our hook into that third chain like we've done before. And I'm just going to show you right here, I haven't shown you before, but you should have three individual chains on your hook. It should be like three individual ones. So you're going to want to go ahead and yarn over, pull through those two, and then make sure you pull through that last one as well to perform that slip knot. Alright, now we're moving on to our last round, so we're going to go ahead and chain three. Now you can see that it's kind of showing this like it's connected to that circle but we're gonna go ahead and go to the next one so we're gonna just go and chain one more so you should have a total of four chains and all we're gonna do is just yarn over into our hook and we're gonna perform three double crochets into this center and then just to divide that we're gonna chain one over to the corner and we're gonna perform that same three double crochet, chain three, and three more double crochets like before. And we're gonna do that all the way around the granny square. And I'll meet you back at the end of this round.
Alright, so now that we made it to the end, we're going to go ahead and do two double crochets into that last stitch. If I can get it through there. And this is what it looks like so far. So now we're just going to go ahead and seal off this granny square. And the granny square should have five across, like five stitches across the bottom, across the sides. So now we're just going to go ahead and insert our hook and like before we're going to perform that slip stitch into the third chain. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook like before. Make sure you're going into the correct chain because it might possibly mess it up. Go ahead and insert your hook and then you're going to just yarn over, pull through those. And that's about it for our granny square. All right, so now you go ahead and grab your scissors and cut off the remaining yarn. And you're just gonna go ahead and pull your hook through and that completes our granny square. All right, so along with this first granny square we made, you're gonna have to make four more. You can just rewind the video and complete the same process just to see how to make it again. But you're just gonna need five total granny squares for this bucket hat. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and weave this last piece of yarn through just to clean up the granny square a little bit. So as you can see, I'm kind of just inserting my hook into different stitches of the granny square itself and pulling the yarn like through the back, through the front, just so I can hide it. But I'll show you the result of what it looks like. All right, so this is what your granny square should look like. So I'm just gonna show you uh, the pattern of what I do. So I kind of take my biggest granny square and put it in the center and then put two identical granny squares next to each other and then two identical ones across from each other and this is how we're going to really sew the um the bucket hat together granny square well each granny square to each granny square all right so now we're going to put three of our granny squares to the side and we're only going to work with two so we're just going to be joining these uh by their corners as, as you can see so we're going to just start from the corner and work our way across. Alright, so now you're just going to take your yarn and insert it into the corners of those granny squares together with your hook. And all we're going to do is just tie a knot and we're just going to chain across as you can tell. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and insert our hook into this corner and yarn over and pull the yarn through. And now we're going to start single chaining across these granny squares. So you're going to want to go and find the first chains on both granny squares and you're going to want to insert your hook into both of those. It might be a little tough for some of them depending on how tight your stitching is for the granny squares and you're just going to insert your hook into both of those chains so you should have a total of four on your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all four of those which might be a little difficult and once you do that you're just going to yarn over and pull through one more time and that's our first single crochet and we're just going to be doing this all the way down our granny square and i'll meet you at the end just to show you what it looks like all right so now that we've made it at the end of the granny square you're just going to insert your hook into the corners of the granny squares together and do a single crochet and now you're going to just grab your scissors and cut the remaining yarn and pull your hook through like before and that sews our granny squares together. All right, so just to give you a preview of what we're gonna be doing, you can see that we have our two granny squares sewn together. So we're gonna sew these other two together. And then we're gonna sew this other fourth granny square onto that side as well. And then we're gonna sew the other, the last end of that granny square to the other side. So it should perform a little circle of just four granny squares. And I'll show you what that looks like, but you're just gonna perform the same process as we did before sewing the grain squares together. All right, so now that we've sewn all four of our grain squares together, we're just gonna go ahead and take our scissors, cut off that remaining yarn like before, pull our hook through just to tighten it. And you should have a little circle, like I said before. Now the bucket hat is looking a little rough, not gonna lie. 
but we're going to clean it up later on but now we're going to go ahead and sew on the top part of the bucket hat so as we've done before with connecting our granny squares we're just going to do those single crochets like so and we're just going to cut our yarn the remaining yarn off and pull that tight and we're going to go ahead and flip our bucket hat inside out and this is what it should look like overall after you've completed sewing all your granny squares together. Kind of looks a little odd because there's no trimming or anything around the edge. Plus you have a lot of, you know, excess yarn around the place. But now we're just going to go ahead and start on the trimming. So you're going to want to find two corners of a granny square of what you've sewn together. And we're just going to pull our yarn through and uh, go ahead and tie a knot. And this process is going to be a little complicated, but you're just going to go ahead and pull your yarn through that um, corner of the granny square. And you're going to want to hit, uh, go and chain three and pull your yarn through. And so this process, I call it more of like a modified double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You're going to yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over the last one um you can kind of just look at the video and see what i'm doing it's kind of hard to explain but you're going to be doing this all the way around your hat and i'll meet you back at the end just to show you what it looks like all right so now we made it to the end of our bucket hat we're just going to seal off the rest of it so we're just going to insert our hook into that third chain and yarn over pull through perform a slip knot and uh, chain one and then we're going to cut off the remaining part of our yarn and pull through like we've done before with our granny squares and that should be it for our bucket hat you might have a lot of excess yarn but like we did before you're just going to go ahead and weave that through different parts of your bucket hat and that's about it for this video. All right, so here are the finished results. I'm really happy with the way they turned out, but I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.